This is the last day. The trumpets are in sky. November 19, the last day of Pluto in Capricorn. But not like we said already in spring 2023, that it was just a little trial or not just what happened in the beginning of this year, paralleled with BlackRock uh, confirming ETF of Bitcoin. Now it's officially for the next two decades, Pluto in Aquarius. We all could feel it coming and now we are feeling it in our blood, in our, in, in, in our brain. We are already there. It's already a new terrain. But I'm going to dedicate this video to some thoughts and also to teach some of you that thinking that astrology is just a superstitious a zodiac signs and people. This is about understanding the ritual. Imagine this is a theater in sky, the zodiac, and according to the alignments of the planets, this is what the director, call it God, would love to give you a lucky position. Being lucky is not that something just by surprise happened to you. It's to be aligned with the stars. If you are behaving as above, so below, you are feeling expansion. You are feeling the things are working for your favor. Everything is happening for a reason, even if you are not understanding it. Understanding astrology, helping you to navigate your life in a better way. And this is very accessible information. It always was. But religion came, and specifically for the last uh, 20, 24 years, since uh, the beginning of Christianism, as we count in this uh, period, and deleted the knowledge uh, of astrology. Of course, it didn't happen that, that quick. It was still very useful until the medieval time and uh, the Inquisition period of Spain that we know that astrology became something of witches because churches needed to have the full control to charge the taxes. So astrology is giving you a free energy, free information to navigate your life, to understand where you are in the existence and to act accordingly. I'm using the astrology for the last years for finances and also for people, and it's giving a lot of benefits by you know, sometimes something, something happening to you, but when you understand the reason and why it happens to you, you are also accepting it in a more natural way because you accept the nature. It's not something on purpose. It would happen anyhow. And astrology is giving us the reasons and also giving us the preparation where we should go next, what next to come. It's very important preparation because many of you that are coming to this channel and not very much familiar with astrology or those that are following and thinking that astrology is just, uh, you know, some entertainment, uh, what they say now, what uh, is coming. So Pluto in Aquarius, as we are going to mark it from later tonight, I'm recording this from Spain, uh, Europe time. So a few hours, literally, for the exact calculation, Pluto ingressing to Aquarius, and we will see this for the last time. What I'm going to share with you in this video will be a glimpse of the very last minute of Pluto and Capricorn still. And we came to this uh, pivotal month of November with a lot of changes. <laughs> the month of Scorpio, this is the last two days of Scorpio, um, is related to changes. And uh, Scorpio is ruling change and deep change and transformation, what we are so afraid that will happen. It's also aligned with the Halloween that just begins in the end of uh, October, the death and the, the holidays of the death, that's what uh, Pluto and Scorpio rules. And also to the end of it with Thanksgiving, as we are coming to the Sagittarius sign, the light after the tunnel. And this is happening just in the last days, two days, three days of Scorpio. Pluto, the ruler of Scorpio, moving to Aquarius. It's going to do a lot of sparks, a lot of changes. We usually feel score uh, Pluto when it enters to a place and when it's exiting a place. It's like, <laughs> think about penetration. <laughs> you don't feel it when it's already inside. You feel it when it's entering and when it's coming out. So this is what Pluto does. It's the underworld that we're afraid of because this is where we are feeling the change. 
if even someone comes with you with a needle, you know, you just see the needle. You're already there. You're coming out. You know, this is the penetrator that Pluto is ruling what is coming under the surface and coming, <laughs> the snakes coming out from the surface. So Pluto now is ending a very important phase that started in 2008. And we could also feel and smell those changes. I can definitely see all those uh, very, in my personal life and what's happening in the world since the end of 20, 2007. And that's what led for a financial crisis, of course, and to the buildup of all the technology that we're finally uh, using all of us and what so-called globalism and capitalism as we know it today. And it's ending. So it's so interesting and symbolized because in 2008, also iPhone born, iPhone 1. And now we are with iPhone 16. And this is exactly the 16 years of Pluto in Capricorn. And this is ending. And just the 16th version of iPhone, symbolically, is coming with artificial intelligence. And this is a game changer. People laughed, why should I need iPhone in 2008? Because we everybody had just Nokia and some heavy stone in pockets just for SMS or maybe other app. Suddenly, we all understand the answer. And some people are still going to ignore the artificial intelligence. And it's all a, a competition of who is going to adapt to technology faster and who has the money to invest in the right thing and not in real estate, but in technology and information. So today, iPhone 16 is almost as considered to be the most advanced um, uh, device out there. Uh, it's also... Um, a status symbol, but not just for buying it and doing the same bullshit, but in order to use it and access information. And we know that destruction, people having TV, but instead of seeing uh, documents or movie or studying with it, they are just spending their time on video games sometimes or comedies that so, okay, but extreme. So what is coming now is very different. And we can feel it already in this November as Trump was elected and uh, Bitcoin and elect all, all what the digitality is going forward and going more. But it's just showing all of us all the reformations and all the changes that are coming in the world and in our life. Of course, this is just the glimpse of what is to come. Nothing yet seems that people are still thinking that things will go according to the order. But those are so many alerts in sky and this what the, the, the function of astrology, of astrologer, is to inform you as a messenger. I'm, I'm ruled by Mercury, the messenger, as a Gemini man. What is coming and how you can take advantage of those energies to be aligned with those theme. You know, it's important to wear the right clothes according to the weather in sky and whether you will get wet or not, but at least you, maybe you will get wet with the winter clothes on you, but you will not get wet with the summer clothes on you. You understand the metaphor? So we are going to change eclipses topics from the end of the year and the South node will move to Virgo and the North node will move to Pisces, the same sign where Neptune and Saturn right now are traveling in. In the end of 2025, Saturn and Neptune will meet in the end of Pisces and then will move together to Aries in 2026. But when the North Node is moving to Pisces, meaning that we are going to very unknown and very different and very far out uh, world. And Pisces is ruling chaos because the opposite of chaos is order. And Virgo is the ruler of order. But the South Node is in Virgo. So all those that are following my videos and understanding the language and the, and the metaphor I'm using always a year and a half, years be, before and months before the event to use it to your consideration. We are going to lose the order of how the world was managed. And this is going to be very frustrating for a lot of people that are very OCD in a way or um, or basing their life on very Capricornian order, the way of how company, company are working, etc. 
And of course, it's going to give a lot of freedom at the same time to those that will take advantage of this lack of order and using creativity, the Pisces way. And this is the hope of the young generation. All the millennials that for the last years you say how you are going to handle the cost of living and how you are going to live in the in the order of your parents and the order of the past generation and nationalities, this is about to break down. So from here, all the young generation that already understand how to edit videos, how to use artificial intelligence and adapted more to the technology are going to take the wealth, the, the, the improvement, the, the potency to their hand. Uranus, Aquarius is ruled by Uranus and uh, Pluto is moving to Aquarius, is ruling the youth, the, 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 the teenagers even. And this is a time of being excited, being uh, unexpected in many ways and creative. This is not a time to be uh, old uh, uh, or to accept the old rules. This is exactly the end we are today. You can do a rituals. I will speak about some rituals that we can do. Is actually to press on the reset button of the karmic debts. Capricorn held a lot of debt, and not just the debt of what we did or what we didn't pay or what our parents said. Of course, this is directly affecting on us. It's ancestral. Thus, each one is connected to a diff to a complete root of a tree. That finally, in a philosophical way, we are all connected to some main trunks. But this is now, and all what happened specifically in the last three months that I was speaking, that we are boiled strong. It's, it's, it's so, and it's going to continue with the boiling, but now it's going to pain less because the needle is already inside. It's like the needle is entering and coming out from, it's like one new, new costure that is happening in the metaphoric level. And actually we are released from the influence of the past. We are released from the debt because so many distinct dis situations, why you, you, despite of your good looking person, despite of you are, uh, I don't know, you have, things are not working for you in relationship or in business or these, those are so many different blockages. This is what's the karmic debt. It is a Capricorn, the blockages that you were stuck, not just because something not wrong with you, it's because something was holding you back, not just in your subconscious, but beyond it. And this is a time even just to do a declaration today and these days, and we, we could do, already do it before, so speaking with my clients, uh, to, you, you cannot just pray, I wish to get release of it. You need to start seeing your new self in the new world and understanding what energies are coming and to align yourself with a new self in a new world, not, a, not the old world to be a new self, in a new self in a new world. It's almost complete imagination. And to allow the past, the conditions, the judgment to fall apart. So even it sounds like it always was like this, people just doing promise, it was still in the energy holding you back, regardless what you pray, regardless what you... But this is now about self-authority. It's Aquarius. It's not about God, help me. It's about you connected to the God on the same time and you have the power. We are speaking about the power is coming back to people, not just because Trump is the president. Trump just aligned with what he says and believe with what the energies are coming. Pluto in Aquarius will give gradually in 20 years, the power back to people. In the last, if in the last uh, years, uh, 16 years, let's say, the power was to government in Capricorn, to all those companies and who invested and who understood the law, now it's going to be gradual and it, will it won't come just smooth. It will come with crisis and with events and very strong events, including natural disasters that will push humanity to change behavior and to adapt faster, to use our potency and to follow the young generation that will introduce better adaptability with the machines, robots, and et cetera, 
and the power will bring come back to people, but in a community level. It won't be just one government or one entity that is controlling everything. It will be separated to a lot of movement, and this will be a complete new story, how we are relating to each other and each one to be connected to his own charger. You know, so many people are living today like uh, a parasites. I will call parasites not because they are not working, but because their source of energy is not based on their own energy alone. They are always charged and depended on another source. The Pluto in Aquarius is allowing us to each one connect to the source, connect that you get decision and empowering by yourself. Now, I just want to finish this video to do it very easy to watch uh, uh, length. Those days, buy yourself something new, buy new clothes, buy any smart clothes, uh, any smart glasses, smart watch, uh, uh, you know, something that, you know, this is the end of Capricorn. Consume, capitalist. If you are doing some profits in Bitcoin or other, buy yourself something, but not just to spend it to show yourself you are rich and going to a restaurant. No, but something that will take you to creativity and commitment to align you with your new appearance, with your new use case, uh, or with something that you would like to uh, to start doing. Uh, technology is very much the alignment of Aquarius, and this is going to be one of the most description things, I think, to be aligned with it. You know, in some holidays, in the religious one, they will tell you, in this holiday, you should eat this because it's symbolizing this and symbolizing this. All those bullshit. The source of all the religion, uh, holidays even, is by the astrology. You don't need someone to tell you it's the holiday of the death. It's because Scorpio, so it's come, or Halloween is almost the same archetypes of this. Or Hanukkah with Sagittarius, the light, and why Christmas is coming aligned with this time. It's all about celebrating the energy that is aligned to help your brain by this ritual to capture itself together with the alignment. So no one today in the calendar or in church will tell you Pluto is moving to Aquarius. You, you, are you going to let it Pluto, the, the moment, the day that is holiday, because it's happening every many years, Pluto moving to Aquarius just to sit normally like nothing is happening? You should do something to mention this, not just it's start of a weekend. It's a phase, it's a chapter. Do something to honor this move of chapter. Buy yourself something, declare something, and understand something about how it's playing on your chart because it's very different. Where Pluto is entering to Aquarius in which house in your natal chart will tell a lot about what is going to play and what aspect this Pluto is going to do uh, to other planets. For this example, in one of the previous videos I've just recorded to all of my generation from 75 and 6, that they have Saturn in uh, 0 to 3 degrees going to experience now the Pluto opposing our Saturn. And this is going to do another. It's also for people from 75 and 6, it's going to square our Chiron, that I born with Chiron in zero degrees of Taurus. So the, the movement of Pluto to Capricorn, uh, to Aquarius, is going to be very strong, very, very, very remarkable. And we are feeling it in our life. We are going to see this aligned with the events that happened in 75, 76 and more things. So it's very important to understand your astrology. If you need help uh, for di deep dive uh, in your understanding of your life, make decision making, etc., maybe book a reading with me or another astrologer. It will be very recommended. I also suggest and want to call you out that until the end of November, this is a Black Friday uh, offer via Ecoscopia.net, where you could uh, as Osher Astro Live uh, charts to see months ahead the main indices and you buy three and pay for two so actually you buy two and get three and um, i think it's uh, very important not to forget this i know that i'm not here to convince new subscribers because i did a lot of work in the last years this is for people that already know in my work and if you even feel by intuition that it's going to help you it's more than 80 percent accuracy i encouraging you all uh, also check the wealth timing calendar 
This is a specific uh, service that I'm going to read your natal chart and to send you a calendar three months ahead or six months ahead, which days are favorable for you to earn money and not. And if you will combine it with a love chart, you will have a lot of uh, risk management um, advantage. So celebrate today and this week, specifically today, this is like, you know, like New Year Eve. This is the Pluto moving to Aquarius moment. So I just want to show you this before I let you go. This is what is happening in the sky right now. Not that just we see Bitcoin in all times high and indicated by the sun in Scorpio opposing Uranus, also what indicates the 100% rally in two days of XRP, not just because Trump met the CEO of XRP, but this is a element of astrology. I don't care what is happening in the reality. It's what above will be below. Also, Mercury, that this is your time. If you think about buying any phone or the device that I'm recommending you to do a ritual that will align yourself, not just buying clothes or open champagne or spending now a lot of money on a restaurant today, but also doing something with technology. Jupiter is on the retrograde in Gemini, but is opposing Mercury, the ruler of Gemini. And Mercury is going soon to be in retrograde. And this is going to also take the market to some instability after the quick rally we saw right now and a lot of tension. This is happening from next week. Mercury will start the retrograde from the 26th, 25th, 26th. Expect some changes, specifically that Mercury is in not very strong position, not like it was, you know, uh, in, uh, in August 5th, when we had the Black Monday, Mercury was in the strongest positions in, in retrograde. And now Mercury is in a weak position going to do a retrograde and opposing Jupiter, the, the Lord of Sagittarius and our mutual connection. But this is it. You know, in a few hours, you are seeing all of you here, how Pluto, Pluto, just last moment to move to Aquarius. We are seeing Pluto in 29 degrees and 59 minutes. It's historical. Saturn is already moving direct in Pisces and it's still stationing. It's stopping in sky. This is a moment of let's go, let's go. <laughs> the energies and the market and together aligned, we're aligned with Donald Trump and not to speak about his personal natal chart that also indicated such a winning and he represents all this moving forward, moving forward, go forward. This is what's coming now. Mars, that is also the ruling of going forward, the empowerment, and we just experienced the tension of October that was so hard for a lot of us, uh, specifically that summarized all the great divorce and how relationship our family and relationship with friends and people really went to the extreme and how we are now going to be an independent people. Mars is opposing Pluto for this time, but Mars is ready to retrograde. And it's not very nice time when Mars is retrograde, specifically when it's going back to Cancer, where it's in fall position. And this is going to be January, no, from, from January, if you see, the inauguration time, I'm showing you here January 19, here is January 20, and Mars is going to be retrograde in Cancer, not good and opposing Mercury. Something is going to happen with Trump that can be difficult. I, I, we, we are going to happen here to more miracle. His chart is showing a big uh, guidance, but whatever will happen, what he already stamped in the ether by his alignment is going to be, um, it's already the change and the change is coming to be more. 2025 is not easy year and don't think just going according to the order is about shuffling the cards completely. See on the day of inauguration also the moon is going to oppose Chiron and Mars, Mercury, not very I'm very worrying about what is going to happen in the world around this time. And to those that are accessing Osher's Astro Life chart, already seeing months in advance what I was illustrating to happen into January. It's a general line with 80% accuracy. So it's not exactly the date, but this is the zone. So that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you. Check echoscopia.net and see how can I help you, whether via a personal consultation 
or via Osher's that's for a chart, take advantage of uh, the Black Friday until the end of this month. Anyhow, any live chart that you will buy until the end of the year will promise you an extension for the new live chart that I'm going to launch on January 1st and 2nd uh, with a new prediction uh, six months ahead until June 2025. This is very important time, at least to navigate with astrology, because nothing is going to be certain. All those uh, analysts that are connecting the dots with their scientific mind, what logic, I would take it with a grain of salt. All the best. I'm Osher, financial astrologer. And happy, 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 happy Pluto in Aquarius era for all of us for the rest of our life. And embrace technology, buy yourself something before Mercury retrograde, even to subscribe to my channel, to other things, you know, all the things that you could progress something that is Mercurian thing that you can select, that can you make decision, buying flights, do it now before Mercury retrograde.